Oh, that's probably not a good thing. Shows more shade. I mean, shows more. <laughs> All right. Sorry. We're, Here we go. <laughs> we're live. No, let, no, no, let's start again. Let's clap uh, again, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys can get it spot on. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, that was great. One more time. One more right, time. We're going to clap. clap. Three, two, one. Boom. We're live. So we got Jay and Maddie in the house. Let's go. Fresh from Mel- Melbourne. Melbourne. Oh, yeah. How do you say I it? thought you were going to say Melbourne. Most Americans say Melbourne. They Melbourne. do, yeah. yeah. Melbourne. 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 Yeah. Yep. Oh, so B-I-N. Yeah. B-I-N. That's not how you spell it, but we'll nah, take it. Melbourne, yeah. yeah. Anyways, we got Jay I've and Maddie here. I've never thought of it that way, but that makes obviously sense. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. I guess we're saying a lot like that you compared hold on to a lot of words and we shorten them. Yeah, yeah. So, Is there any I American right. words that you guys have uh, changed your vernacular to while you're here? Water? You say water? Mate. I feel like a few things maybe just to be, just because you get in the habit of trying to be clearer when you're talking to people and slow it down. So I don't what know. you're telling me is that we speak more proper than an Austrian. Oh, I, I already knew that. <laughs> There's no argument with that. Have you guys, did you guys meet Carolyn Stanley? Uh, yeah. 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 Is this twice you've done this? Yeah. I just, I just want to know. I don't think she sounds any I different. Could, I it's could understand her fine. But yeah. I no, no, like not understanding, but have you guys oh, ever heard thick. an accent yeah. that yeah. thick? I hadn't, I hadn't heard an accent that thick. Yeah. But See, that's the question. But it was... um. Had you? I had in Cookville. Oh, true. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> Do you know who Randy Moss is? No. 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 So he was like one of the... Brandon knows who Randy Moss is. One of the best wide receivers in the NFL ever. Right. Um, and he had an accent just like hers. And there's a guy now that got... Um, signed to a Mississippi State football team, and he's got an accent that sounds just like hers, and you never really hear that in college football. Right. So I wonder why. Think of hers. Mm. Do you think because they get drafted early on and they go out, like they go out to the big schools early and they just adapt to it? I don't know. He lives like right down the street, so his family is like from Mississippi State, so it's cool. Mm. Yeah. All right, Sorry. we'll move forward. Yeah. On this. Yeah. Cool <laughs> um, accent. Yeah. So yeah, we'll jump into this. Jay and Maddie are here for you guys. Have what four more weeks? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Mm. That is so good. Because you guys didn't plan on coming here Yeah, to well, begin with. Uh, no. No. Last we, year we, we, we... This time last year there yeah. was never a thought, right? No way. Okay. No. Yeah. yeah, because I texted you probably right after Wadapalooza, and yeah. you're like, all right, semifinals, we'll be there. We're yeah. game on. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we've got yeah. six weeks of training. Yeah. You get here on Monday, mm-hmm. and then you're in the open announcement yeah. by Thursday. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, was, I was saying that, like, as soon as I landed, it was sort of, like, pretty hectic. It was sort of like, oh, I think probably because I was building it up more in my head. But, um, yeah, it was nice. Well, because if people don't know, you didn't even know. No, when I didn't know. you were traveling, you had no, no idea. No, yeah, it was we were coming over purely just to, for quarterfinals, I suppose, and then so you were, you were you eating like normal. You were just getting ready to travel. No oh, expectations. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. when I when I landed, it was all like, oh, it could happen. And then I think that night we went out for dinner, like maybe like nine or seven thirty or something. Yeah. And I think that's when it was. Shane, put was it official then? At dinner? Yeah, was yeah at dinner. dinner. Yeah. So I remember sure. we came here and you're like, oh, it could be a thing. Because that yeah, was like a yeah. seven-hour day where we had to put on our politic hats and be fighting for you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we were going to battle for you. <laughs> yeah. I remember because like, you guys were traveling and they asked us, would Jay do it? And we're like, absolutely, he would do it. Yeah. And inside our head, we're like, we haven't even asked Jay yet. <laughs> <laughs> we just know you. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. we knew either of you would jump yeah, in on that. Because yeah. that was even people would ask you, right? They thought you flew over. Yeah, people, yeah. like, when it got, I think when yeah. it got announced, people were like, oh, you're getting on a flight that night? I'm like, I'm already here. Well, people <laughs> yeah. told CrossFit. Yeah. We're yep. like, Jay is ready to go. And yeah. Wilson's like, well, I don't know how we're going to get. He's here. He's, yeah. He actually just landed, like, that yeah. hour yeah. when yeah. we told him yeah. to. Yeah. Was but they, that, they were pumped to have, like, once it all after the event they absolutely loved like obviously the uh, international representation too for you being involved and obviously yeah. winning was an awesome thing yeah for sure like, i think it was cool you know hanging around and getting to know more like the people in crossfit like True. we were saying um and then don even like messy or emailed me after it oh, all yeah. happened, like oh, saying cool. good to see you, me and all that sort of stuff so yeah it was, it was awesome. so you probably neither of you have a really probably met many of them right because they're all behind the scenes at the games yeah i mean you only just sort of yeah maybe walk past them and all that sort of stuff at the games but see some familiar faces and that but yeah it was cool to like actually talk to more of them and a, in a more relaxed environment yeah, too yeah. right it's not yeah. like the crossfit games where they're exactly. going from a to b to go do something it's like hey, yeah. oh they were relaxing they were having a great time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah everybody was yeah. having a great time yeah. best yeah. open announcement ever Understood. they brought everybody to yeah. come watch it <laughs> it's a good show though what do right? you think maddie did um, you have fun with it yeah i thought it was awesome i mean like yeah we were coming over to even just watch tia do it 
So oh, it yeah. was yeah, sick. that was that exciting was for it. us just to come and watch that. Yeah, yeah. not not even being. Have here. you guys ever been to another open announcement? Ever. No. That was a first for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we've established. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he had been to one in Miami, but Shane wasn't there. Oh, okay, so that was pretty cool. Like, especially because we had just been opened and everything. We've talked about that plenty of times. Yeah. So let's go back. Like, let's. I don't know if people know your stories much, mm-hmm. right? Especially in America, because you guys have lived in Melbourne so Melbourne, long. Yeah. Um, how'd you guys meet? Um, we were just both both sponsored by Reebok. So I think just over the years, like we were mates, and then yeah, ended up turning into so more you, mates. So you call <laughs> mates. Yeah. It can be men and women. Yeah. Not just yeah, guys. Yeah. Okay. Friends. Yeah. Cool. Mates, right. friends, same sort of thing. We're educating people, actually. Yeah, this is an education. International. Yeah. yeah. That does Absolutely. well for the algorithm, actually. So what year was that? That would have been 2019. Putting you on the spot. End of 2019. Yeah. 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 Can confirm. Okay. Yeah. Can confirm. End of 2019. And did you know them? Yeah. Then? Oh, like we'll loose through the through the grapevine. Just because it's a traps. smaller yeah. community over yeah. there. Mm-hmm. But see, like they like like they said, Mel Bin. They live so further down south than we do, so like we would only see these guys that maybe like twice, three times a year, yeah. Yeah. and then two out of the three is just like an event. That's so. a yeah. how many hour flight is that? It's pretty far. About two, two and a half probably. Yeah, to Brisbane and then obviously like yeah. for Australia, that's yeah. pretty far. Right? Yeah. yeah, like if you're gonna get on a plane. Yeah. Well, we drove it. Yeah. We've driven it. Well, it's yeah. like 20, 20 yeah. about 20 hours odd. Well, I remember Shane years. calling me when he was in Australia, what, like this fall, and he said you guys were driving it and then staying at the farm. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like these guys are crazy. It was, <laughs> fun, yeah. it was fun. And trip. we camped. Yeah. And they you brought, brought their dog. dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they took training camp literal when we saw, talked about that. Like, they yeah. literally hey guys, camped come by. Camp. All right, we're in the yeah. car yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you'd been... You've been doing CrossFit somehow for like 20 years and you're only 25. <laughs> yeah. That's what everyone talks about yeah, at this point. Yeah. Um, how long had you been in it? Um, yeah, I started when I was like 12 or 13. So you guys were the same. Yeah. 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 I think you would have started Maddie probably started, uh, early. Yeah. early th- she's been doing it longer than me. That's that was my. This was my 14th open. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? I don't think anyone knows this stuff because <laughs> yeah. I didn't know nah, this stuff. Because yeah. I think also people think you guys are like in your 30s. Not that you look yeah. that way, but you've been around so long. Mm. And you guys, you, how old are you? 27. 27, 25. 25, right? Yeah. yeah got to double check That's that what, Yeah, well, I, I, Yeah, I know. No, but I have, I've heard that like for the last two, three years, like, people think I'm like late 20s because yeah. like, mm. of the, like, the beard yeah, and stuff. The but beard. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, no, I'm so 25. You, you guys have been around for a, a really, probably longer than any other athlete. Is that longer than Tia? Oh, for sure. I think Maddie, Maddie had been already in the circuit because I remember your name was on the leaderboard the first year we were doing the Open. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's 14 hectic. answers that all. But I, I was crazy. like a little baby then. Yeah, yeah, both of you. How old were you when <laughs> yeah. you started? 13. 13. Jeez. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So 13, yeah. So 12 years 13. for me. 13. Remember so what, what you were you doing at 13? <laughs> oh, 13? No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, eh? So what year was that? What was the what year was the open for that? Well, I'm pretty sure I, I did the 2013 open. So Oh, okay. So yeah. got, that's an easy one to remember yeah. then. Yeah. And then yours? Would have been three years. Probably 2012, I reckon, wouldn't it? Yeah. I remember, what year was like the seven minutes of Oh, so you'd be doing for 13 years? Uh, what would that make it? 12, 12 opens, probably. Okay. 12 opens, yeah. Yep. Um, seven minutes of burpees, was that was your first year? What? No, I don't know. I also like really remember this workout was like snatches where the weight increased and I'd like never, ever done any of those weights. <laughs> and then I was just doing it for reps somehow. And that was that was, was, that was, oh, that was like the, the snatch workout where it was only snatching, yeah. right? And it just went oh, up by weight yeah. each yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember heard that. About that. I don't know. I'm not doing well that. in history, like, right? That's what that's what was like pretty <laughs> crazy, <laughs> right? Like the the open hadn't had teenage divisions then. Like no. I think the yeah. teenage oh, divisions. Yeah, I think they didn't have scaled divisions either. No. Right? Yeah. Divisions either no. Right? Nah. Yeah. So I was like, just trying to rip these weights. So did you guys just go to regular affiliates? Yeah. And they just threw you in? Yeah, so and that <laughs> and that's what everyone like even everyone around because I was like it was rare that I would know another kid even yeah. in, within like two or three years my age doing it. So yeah, I would go in like th- trying to, you know, probably failing like fifty kilo clean injects and stuff like yeah. that. So and like er, like it was cool though because everyone like got around you like that time of year and yeah. like I'm just a kid so I was frothing. Well, they probably love to see it, right? Because you guys are an anomaly with how young you were. Yeah. What age did it like? Would you like now? We've got 17 year olds. That's their last year in the teen division. Mm. When did you guys feel like you were finally going against adults when it came to the open? Like you could hold your own. 
Um, for me, it was probably like, because I was lucky from when I was out of the teenage division, I rolled into like teams. Mm-hmm. So I did teams for two years and I think that was like a good progression for me. So I'd say, yeah, probably 2019 when I was, when I finished teams. So not that long ago. Like that's, nah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then you were... Um, I like, like made regionals in 2014 when I was 17. But that, oh, wow. So that was like pretty pretty wild and then i started taking it more seriously from there because i missed out making regionals the next year oh really okay. yeah why was that like injury or something going um on? no i think they just made it the cut from like 60, 60 to 48 40. yeah and oh, so 48 yeah okay. even though oh, i like cut. technically did better in the open i missed out ah. so yeah that's i think that's when i started taking it more seriously that's when the open mattered too remember so sick. Like, so many yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's gone back yeah, there's been about so five many times. times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the year it mattered mattered when it qualified for the games. Did you guys, did you make it through that? What year was that? No. Remember when it was top was 20, that, just got an automatic spot? Yeah, it was like 2019. And, and then it was sanctionals, right? Because yeah. it was like, if yeah. you didn't make it in the oh, open, 20, you could go yeah. to the sanctionals yeah. and do your own 2019, thing. 2019, I qualified from a sanctional. Which one was that? Oh, the one uh, in ACT. Australia? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you the same? Same as me, yeah. No, that would have been the next. 2020. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the next year. 2020, I had like a backfill spot from the open because people were getting spots from sanctionals, but then it went online yes. and they like cut the games field to oh, 30. Yeah. Did you do the online? No. No, I got the boot. Because? Oh, yeah, because they, they made it yeah. only people in stage one who from a sanctional. Who won a sanction? That's got, right. Yeah. I remember because the open didn't end up mattering after all, did no, it? No. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, but I don't remember that part. That yeah. was a mess. Yeah. <laughs> like not. It it's not that many years ago, and so many changes have happened. So hard, <laughs> hard so to follow, fun. isn't it? So f- full circle. Mm-hmm. This is both your best opens ever this yeah. year. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. Thank Where you. did you finish? Thirty fifth. Third. Third in the money, baby. Yeah, that's yeah. all you want. So this is the first time you've made money in the open, right? <laughs> yeah. This is cool. Which crazy. Is, this is the first year they've opened up to top five? Yeah. But they normally do it for event winners uh, and yeah. overall winner. Yeah. But this year was the first for top five. And yeah. then your best placing was what in workout? Uh, I think 13th, week one. Week one. And then yeah. what was yours? Week three. Yeah. Uh, last one. I don't know what. Oh, yeah. Is. You beat somebody, right? In that one? She would have beat a fair few people. And oh, as in few. somebody. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> no, but but I, got, I got the redo. Oh, yeah. I got the yeah. first, yeah. first one. I mean, I had a redo yeah. as well. <laughs> If we're going to talk smack, first one matters. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You got true. To watch I'll her. take that. I'll take that. <laughs> did you guys, yeah. did you enjoy the pressure of that this year? Um, I feel like I didn't really, like, because I, I said I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally redo an open workout um, anyway, but I said to Maddie this year, I was like, oh, it's looking all right. Like maybe come week three, if I'm in like a spot to top five and, yep. and, and win the money, then it makes sense, right, to redo. Yeah. So. Well, you did the open announcement, and I think it was maybe an hour later, Shane's like, he's redoing it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to tell him yet, yeah. but he's going to redo yeah. it. Yeah, it, it did matter because, like, did. And, and did it actually? Because I don't think it really did. With points. Well, I actually, well, I think it would have probably, yeah. it would have, it wouldn't have put me, I wouldn't have been in third. I probably would yes, have maybe would have, just scraped in yes, for a fifth. Yes, I think but. that's what I worked it out, yeah, because I wanted to. Oh, if you didn't. If he didn't redo, redo 24.3, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's mm. a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I thought more importantly, like the showing of twenty four point three in the live event was a great representation of like um, competitiveness, and yeah. seeing that nature was awesome to see of Jay and compete in that. So that was that was cool. But then the next next one was strategizing to yeah. to make to, be, yeah. to make money. Yeah, it'll never happen. But I I wish they didn't allow reduce. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I was like, how do you how do you police that? No, but, but like exactly. it, like it's cooler to see when you guys can go out there. You were on Friday Night Lights with all the craziness going on with the members and everything. And you yeah. just smashed it. Hundred yeah. percent. Like that's for us. I think as an athletic standpoint, I'd rather see that yeah. ten times out of ten. And when it comes down to it, like when you're in a comp that actually does really 100%. matter, you only get one shot. Because we always <laughs> see those athletes, right? That like they're great online qualifiers yeah. and they get in a live event and yeah. they can't put it together. So exactly. that's that's a tough disconnect for yeah. sure. Yeah, when you get yeah. one shot and you can uh, and you got to back it up. And we've spoken about this too. We think that the first time you do the open workout is a true representation of you mentally and physically. Yep. And then if you do repeats, it's just strategizing or or trying to game the workout to get a better result for standpoint, you know, standings in the leaderboard. So for us, we look closely at the first time you do it. And then the second time on the redo is like, hey, how do we game this to beat your previous result yeah. to get a better outcome? 
Andy, yeah. who's training, right? Like, you got more training than Jay because he had yeah. to redo the workout. Yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. Only one redo. Only though. one redo, exactly. So it's been a year more. Well, not even a year since they've been with nope. us, huh? So Nine. that was that was semifinals or right before semifinals. Yeah. And that was Jay. Right, after? Yeah, right after. Right after yeah. semifinals. Yeah. And then yeah. you were like, you didn't make the games last year, but yeah. you were still trying to train a little bit, but taking it easy. Now it's been eight months probably. Yeah. What's been the biggest turnaround now? I mean, you're a different athlete than you were at this time last year, oh, right? Yeah. So, like, where where do you guys think that – is it a mental thing? Is it a physical thing? What's been, like, kind of the game changer for you guys so far? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say both. And then, like, the, the biggest thing that we always say is, like, the volume, like, the, the difference for, for me, like, leading into the games last year, what I hadn't done mm -hmm. years prior yet was volume. So I think the – the preparation that we had and then the time over here before um yeah ended up getting that that better result at the mm -hmm. games and uh like i always say years prior i'd sort of get to the games and be like surviving but last year i got to the games and i was like i've had way harder training <laughs> yeah. days than what the games is you know so, Nothing so I, I could compete i could compete yeah. um which was crazy for me. Mentally, did you feel like when you got to the games, you were just like happy to be there before? For sure. And then yeah. this year, you're like, I have a mission for this because I'm sure Shane laid out some expectations, some things, not from a placing standpoint, yep. but at least how you were doing on workouts. Yep. Was that a big differentiator for you? Yeah, ma massive. Like, yeah, years prior, I think I was, I was happy to go and collect the uniform, and then that yeah. was it, just getting yeah. to the games. It's a lot but of people, man. Yeah, the, the mental shift now was like, all right. I'm, I want to do the best that I can do at the games. Again, I hadn't, I haven't had that thought before. I, I, I've almost been awesome. too scared to say yeah. like I want to win the games, but now I feel like I can confidently say that. Good. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's awesome. And I think Maddie, for the first time. Oh no, is that the first time you've coached? Like, well, being at least in the background with Jay. Um. In at the games. Uh, 2021, I was there too because yeah. it, it was that was hard for us to leave Australia, so it was literally just us two. Ah, uh, okay, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And yeah. how was that then? That's probably a good representation of 2021 versus yeah. last year. Like, how was it for you, or did you notice anything different with Jay? Yeah, like, or I, did you feel more pressure from it all? Like, just seeing him where he wasn't leadable, like, oh crap. Not at all. I feel like last year was like uh, Jay was like showcasing what he's actually truly capable of doing. Mm. And how was that? Did you see that he had his nerves in check? Or did you think that... Was it any different than 2021? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Like, I think it was just more like riding the momentum from having those better finishes for mm -hmm. me. Like, I, th I think... Um, yeah, if like momentum is a massive thing, I oh, feel exactly. like in in, in you started off anyway. on a great note and it just you held on to it. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. it start, started good from the start. Um, but yeah, well, I think there's like one or two workouts I was pretty unhappy with, but it was sort of it was easier just to like let go of and be like, all right, let's turn this yeah. around. Um, but yeah, like with with Maddie, like it's just it's chill. Like obviously we had you guys too too back there, which which was massive. Um, but yeah, Maddie just. Yeah, carrying the bags, doing pretty much everything for me. So all I had to think about was competing. Yeah. That's awesome. So yeah. Maddie, you when did it switch for you? Like you missed the games last year. That had to be hard. Was it something where you were like, I just want to get away from the sport for a bit, or did you want to get right back into training? Because now you knew, hey, Jay's had been having some good success with Shane. This looks like something I may want to do. Was that exciting for you? Um yeah, well, like, I guess, I think I probably had the the feelings of wanting to get away from it, like, maybe two, three years ago. Okay. Um, but the last two years, like, I've been uh, able to take the positives away from what I did. Like, even how I feel like how I did in the workouts at Torian last year, like, I was still happy personally with mm -hmm. how they went. But the result was just obviously disappointing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I feel like we were due for, like, a change or to, a, or j like, Jay was definitely due to level things up so yeah i was obviously all all for jumping onto that as well <laughs> coach what do you think of these two like i mean if you've oh. probably seen a, a massive difference we've already talked about that yeah. physically but there's there been anything from a confidence level like i would say definitely for maddie for sure and that's more of just getting to know you better but you seem like even like outwardly you're a different person now I feel like Tia and Shane have been trying to drill that into me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think the biggest thing is, and the shift of that is just the nature that we play in Australia. I think we play it down. Mm -hmm. like, I don't think, I think maybe now they openly talk about it, but I think internally they always had those thoughts or aspirations. But I think now just 
being able to say it just makes it makes them more accountable for us like oh heck i put it out there i better back it up you know like that's a small segment of it but i think the biggest thing is is just for me at least seeing the growth of both of them is more in a shift of uh accepting the challenges and i don't know if i like the word challenges but in terms of training like many times when i put in my notes like if it feels good lean into it and keep going for it rather than hey like let's yeah. leave it there for the day uh particularly with maddie like i think when you just told me how many years you've done the open and then hearing how many prs you've gotten this year yeah. Yeah. That for me is like, holy crap, I wish we could talk more about that, but we want to keep our information pretty <laughs> private. But like on a weekly basis, Maddie's PR, which is phenomenal. And that's not credit. I don't think that's any shape or credit to the programming. I think that's more credit to Maddie just taking on the challenge. Maybe. But <laughs> I think it's more so taking on the challenge, right? And like, a little bit. Yeah. But I think accepting it and then like going, okay, like, hey, this year I'm not playing around. Like I want to, I want to shake, shake the tree pretty hard. And the same with Jay, it's like, he moves phenomenal. I don't think mm-hmm. there's a question on that. I yep. think even like uh, Donald, one of the Castro, Donald, someone, anyone made a comment like, wow, this is like a textbook play here, which is awesome. You know, standards are met, everything's crazy good. Um, I think it's more about like, hey, how do we how do we enhance these athletes to like see what they're capable of? And I think we've talked about it before. It's like, you're a big fish, like treat mm-hmm. yourself like that. And if you mm-hmm. don't, if you always look at yourself as like, like a lower level to them, you're always looking up and then it, it doesn't shape, it doesn't show what you're truly capable of. And I think these guys are seeing that now, being exposed to, uh, being rubbing shoulder with athletes, you know, like, well, obviously with Tier and some of the other athletes that we have here in a stable, it's like, going, oh, heck, like I'm throwing down with these guys and, and they're thinking the same, heck, I'm getting to throw down with these guys. So yeah. I think they start seeing themselves of what we see them as, you know? Yeah, when you came in the summer, I think even your strength in between the three months of when you came into the games was even crazy, mm. right? And usually that doesn't happen for athletes that have been doing this for 11 years, whatever it has been. So that was cool to see. Um, and I think yeah. for you guys... But I think Jay's always had exceptional like 1RM strength mm-hmm. relative to ratio. Yep. But I yep. think what's been at least onto that point and what we've spoken about is like the repeatability that you can do that now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Having yep. done the volume but still reached 95 percentiles of your 1RM... Uh, and those numbers are hyper competitive mm-hmm. at the games. They're the top three to top five for sure in the brute strength stuff mm-hmm. relative to ratio. Yeah. Yeah. And even with Maddie, Maddie's numbers and their strength stuff in strength field has increased phenomenal too relative to the field. Again, like their top 10 numbers. And I think like soaking wet, she's probably 140 pounds. But we're talking about that's another topic. But it's kilo, kilo. we don't know. Kilo. Kilos, yeah, she's like, yeah, sure. if you say so. Yeah. That yeah. sounds good to yeah. me. I'm like, what is close enough? Pounds? Doing the math. <laughs> so you guys, you got to train with Tia before Rogue, and that mm-hmm. was your first really time train with her, right? Because she was obviously had Will was last year. Well, pretty much. Yeah. I got to train with her like yeah. uh, before the games, like so while, while these like guys July. were busy throwing yep. down. Yeah. I just got oh, to train true. with Tia, which was pretty yeah. cool. And that was pretty, was that was pretty that. funny training, actually, because yeah. Tia was so frustrated coming back. From yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long comeback. Well, it feels well, like it anyway, but yeah. relative to reality, anyway. So you guys <laughs> had your road trip out to see them before yep. Rogue. Was That's that right. a really yep. cool experience? Because that's a very oh, yeah. private environment, right? Yeah. Like nobody yeah. really sees behind the curtain when it comes to that. Yeah. Was that awesome? Oh, 100%. We were, we were pretty excited to get up there, that's for sure. And then, yeah, being, being there for two weeks was was awesome. Like just, just like, yeah, being around these guys is just like it's second to none, right? Like you learn you learn so much. And, yeah, seeing how Tia sort of just, like we'll say, she sort of just like doesn't take like no for an yeah. answer, you know? So just that, that yeah. trying to – yeah, bring bring that uh, mentality f- for yourself. I guess is was a big one. Yeah, very few people I think see Tia when she's actually full on in training, and yeah. it's a switch. Yeah, like even from when you guys trained in the in the because she was getting ready for Rogue. Yeah, she was still coming back, but like I'm sure you saw a different Tia in the barn. Oh, for, for sure. sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's like there's, there's just moments like why. Like, yeah, even Shane, too, like that team has just been, yeah, I guess. Yeah, the, I don't like, think I've noticed it, to be honest, because maybe because obviously I'm just seen it the whole oh, time. Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah, like yeah, when yeah. we start talking about it, oh, maybe, maybe they're right. Because Nick says it sometimes, too. Like, I just go, hmm, if you say so, Nick, man, I'm just going, I'm just agreeing with you. But, yeah. like, uh, you guys saying yeah. it, too. So that's pretty cool. Because, yeah. I, I mean, everyone here now has not seen the whole journey. Right, like we, no. I came in in 2021, mm-hmm. and that's how many years into it. 
and you notice a big difference. Like I've never seen anyone treat their career and training like Tia does. Yeah. Cool. And you too as well. Like that's the thing. But you guys are so – it's been like that for so long. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it wasn't like that on day one, but you've yeah, taught yeah. yourself to be that way. Yeah, I don't know. For sure. Like, <laughs> like yeah, we're well, going back to like being with them just for that two weeks. I feel like we – like we probably spoke about things almost like every night. Yeah, just like absolutely. What, like things that like the way Shane would tell us stuff that, you know, fires us up or mm-hmm. in, in moments that it's like needed or mm-hmm. like – um things that i was like oh i didn't even know i like yeah. did yeah, that yeah, yeah. you know yeah. and then yeah and then seeing things that tia would do that's just like wow like no wonder she's the best man like she grinds yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, she does tempos Those yeah. Are, that's crazy to watch yeah. so. but no i don't think you notice it because it just comes naturally and you've built it right and we're gonna this is gonna make you feel yeah. awkward but yeah. we're gonna keep praising change yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i think what we should do is yeah. let's, yeah. let's do <laughs> but I, think, but no, I think it's awesome right? let's just let's summarize so we can move yep. i think so, it's awesome but yeah. like i think it's awesome that you guys can capture that and i think seeing the growth out of you two and that's credit to you guys it's i've had like will carney's gone out to hang out with you guys and he said almost the same stuff that you've just said about yep. that and mm-hmm. i just think they're the people, they're the, like, they're the group that we want to associate ourselves with. People that are just trying to ele- elevate not just their game, but the people around them because mm. it, it helps in the long run, right? Like where you've gone from, a, uh, from an athlete to a mentor role. And then when I feel that when you're coaching or when you're passing on lessons, that tells me that you're teaching and that means you've retained it to the best yeah. degree that we can mm. have it as. So like that's, yeah. for me, the the takeaway from this is like, cool, you guys have gone from absorbing it to now sharing it and preaching it and and teaching that tells me, okay, you've retained this to the nth degree that we want. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because I think we had an up and down year last year, like from a coaching standpoint, an athlete standpoint, to have you guys come in, it was refreshing. Mm -hmm. Like to be like, from day one, you listen to everything. You're the most coachable athlete we've seen in a long time, along with Tia, because you guys just, you want to get better, right? Yeah. And that's something to where you've been around this for as many years as you have. It's hard to find that. Yeah. But that's the only way you're going to keep getting better. And the only sure. reason you go from, what, 28th to 8th? Yeah. Now you're going to go from 8th to 1st? Yeah. Like, honestly, like, it's in the cards. Mm-hmm. So it's got to be something cool that you see, and it's got to yeah. fire you up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, we're just super grateful for everything. Like, even I was saying to Jay, like, when we were here last year and, like, everyone else was games training and I was just doing, like, training mm-hmm. on the side with Tia, but I was even getting help from all you guys, like, pointers and tips, and I was like, I'm not even, like, doing anything. I'm just here, like, hanging out, and you yeah. guys are helping me. I was, yeah, I'm That's very cool. grateful. That's something we're trying to train out of Maddie. Maddie, Maddie puts everyone in front of her. Yep, <laughs> yep. We're working on it, guys. It's so, been better. It's been good. It has. Yeah. Now you, everyone's the same. We're all training for the same games yeah. now. She told me to move before, so that was awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> swore at him. I heard it. Yeah, you yeah. swore at him. You told him to get out of the way. Get out of here. So training-wise, you guys train. What's the name of where you train? So yeah, you guys well, have I'll a barn, right, yeah, we got Yeah, we got a – like, Dad built literally it just to have a gym uh, on the property. So um, what is it? I don't know what it is in feet, but it's like – about 13, 13 and a half meters by like seven and a half. So it's good space for two people. Anyway, we train there, um, train there, yeah, every day now, um, full time, pretty much since we got home from the games, I'd say. Yeah. So what does that look like? Do you, so 7 a.m., because when I shared notes, these guys are already two thirds through their training. Well, when, <laughs> when, I, when I wake up and check in how they're going, they're already through their training. So yeah, like, yeah, you're like, yeah. how's training going? And it's always yeah, like, oh, good. we're almost done. Yeah. <laughs> or, or it's like, have you uploaded it yet? <laughs> <laughs> hey Shane, wake up, yeah. please. <laughs> um, so my, like, most days will be like, we try to get in at 9.30 and then when it, however long it takes us usually we'll have a lunch break and stuff like that pretty similar to like what we're doing over here um but yeah we have uh sort of some mates come in yeah, every you, now yeah, and then just buddy. to keep it yeah. yeah keep it keep it fresh and um and fun but um but yes uh, your question was yeah train yeah so yeah, so, so is, it, is it at your house is that what it's it is? at mum and dad's house okay so, they're so on, you guys they're go on in the house break Eat, Pretty, yeah, there, and exactly. Then go back out. Yeah, yeah, so they got eighteen acres. Um, oh wow! And yeah, it's all they've been. They moved in there, like built everything there. Uh, been there for about a year and a half, to oh. nearly two years. Oh wow! Oh the, the, house, the house. Yeah, wow. so they've had the property yeah. for only like three or oh, four cool. years. Oh, very cool. Yeah. 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 So how far is that from your guys' house? It's about five minutes. Oh, that's, that's yeah. it. Yeah, okay. so just that's down the road. Cool. So it's perfect. It's yeah. perfect. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's been really good. 
Especially awesome. for the longer longer days. Because it looks like it's a great space. Like you can probably fit four people in there and train at the same time. Yeah, which is cool. yeah. We'd sort of we'd, we'd probably cap it at four. Like sometimes uh, when there's when there's the stuff VIPs. we have to run like run some heats I was or something. Say, but yeah, <laughs> but depending on what it is, sometimes it's like well heat one, heat two. Who's going yeah. when? <laughs> but is um, it something that you guys have? Have you always trained together and liked training together? Yeah, yeah. We all like we've trained yeah pre- from when Six. we've been together for sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's always been good, like just friendly competition, because um, I feel like we're uh, like a lot of a lot of couples that we talk to who train together say like that it, they struggle, like it's a bad thing, like they fight and stuff. You but always hear bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Like, we never <laughs> had that. Uh, I think because we could always like separate that we're not competing like against each other at the end of the day. Like if yeah. if one of us can beat each other it's a it's a good thing and yeah. we're it, we're just been pushing each other like every single day so i think it's only i think that's done an good ego things. thing right which neither of you have like at yeah. the end of the day it sometimes i think people put their significant other behind them yeah yeah because of their career and yeah. we've seen that in the past yeah but i don't like you guys have been around each other so long yeah. and you just want to see each other succeed for sure that's got to be just a key to all of that and you guys yeah. have obviously dealt with that yeah um maybe not you as an athlete yeah, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, but it's one of those things that's yeah. really cool to see because we've noticed that since day one yeah um so you got and toby's there right your yeah brother? toby as well yeah so yeah. toby uh, he's he your made, videographer too yeah is he? <laughs> wow. he wears many hats he was he was <laughs> <Toby>. <laughs> Now you got BC over here. Yeah, no. <laughs> you got upgraded. So that'd be your app, <laughs> yeah, slide upgrade. <laughs> Toby was all over the live stream yesterday yeah. talking oh, yeah. about uh, he loves it. Yeah. Jay was moving. Yeah, and that's what. Oh, was was he? But he yeah. he's been competing pretty well lately. Yeah, Has like he? he's been doing pretty well. Like I think he's a, he's. He's like locked in now to try to qualify for Tarin, which I think nice. he'll yeah. do. Yeah, he did. So he did down under, and we met him there, and yeah. he crushed. He yeah, did really well. Yeah, and we yeah. met. We met your dad. Yeah, and your dad's a crazy man. Yeah, I love yeah. him. The whole, He's so the good. The whole fam would have been in the in the box <laughs> next yeah, to you they guys. Were. They were. Yeah. 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 yeah, but um, but yeah, like uh, it's even cool just to see like a few of the boys that we're training now. They're like they're signed up to compete, and they're like yeah, they're all doing it. Because because yeah, like most of them, most of them work like obviously work jobs during the day, so it's good for. Same, same as Toby. Mm-hmm. So the, all those boys will just roll in of like an afternoon, like three thirty, four o'clock. And so after just, work they come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then just yeah, do whatever. The What's Toby do? Day is. He's a plumber, so he works for Dad. Of yeah. He does. Australians. Yeah, yeah. all, <laughs> all of them job. are trained. Useful yeah. jobs. <laughs> I ask people in America like, nah, sales. Yeah. Face <laughs> <laughs> at a desk. Yeah. So down under, that was November, December. December. Yeah. First week of December. December. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And we were all there, which was awesome. You did team, which was probably a fun experience. It was, yeah. And then Maddie crushed. So that was like your first trial competition since we've been together. Yeah, but Maddie Maddie handled that because who was your personnel at the back? Uh, My friend Nat. Nat, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, and you had a rough weekend. Yeah. You were sick. (laughs) Yeah. But nobody really knew, which was really cool. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to. Um, Your face wasn't good though. No, nah. <laughs> yeah. Every time in the warm crowd, you'd look at me and you'd be like, no, <laughs> "I didn't ask if you're doing well. I already knew by the <laughs> color of your face." <laughs> But no, like I think that was a cool experience, right? Because you were there, like yep. it, even though you weren't in the back helping directly, you handled that competition beautifully, and I think that was probably gave you a lot of confidence, right? Yeah, it definitely did, especially feeling the way I felt. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> well, when I feel good. <laughs> yeah. Because that's like basically a mini Torian at the end of the day, right? Like most of the same yeah. athletes, especially on the women's side, that was because yeah. that field looks completely different now. Yeah. Yes, it does. But I think most of them that competed were about the yep. same women yeah. without those it will that have be, dropped yeah. out. I was yeah. going to say it's be pretty similar what Tyrion will be. Um, yeah. Same same amount of events sort of as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, less probably outdoors the event because event True. one was that run and then yeah. there was a field event, wasn't there? Handstand yeah. walk. Handstand walk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that could probably be. That could you guys do outdoor stuff at Tyrion? Uh, mm. no. Only that, that one year they one ran year. outside, That was when right? they were When it wasn't the sanction. Oh, it is, yeah. right? No. What? CrossFit's no. program. Nah, it's, oh, I it's think CrossFit's still, still programming. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it is. But, Maddie, what about um, down under then? Oh, Did you... Uh, yeah, we're still learning this question. Yeah. Every year. It changes every year. I don't even know if we're at Keep regionals again. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, next year will be like, regionals is back. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. But, Maddie, in, uh, down under the... Like... How was that preparation leading into that? I know that, so this is something that Nick and I spoke about and I didn't really want to let on, but I purposely wanted to see how you handled the situation because I was going to say, this is where we're going to learn more about Maddie 
rather than if we inter- like if we jump in and try to change many things. We wanted to use that as the best best as we could to simulate like testing for yourself and how you conduct or how you handle things. But like we'd love to know what your thoughts are, and I think that'd be awesome to share. Like because I think that was your last high competitive competition that you got to do since Torian last year. Yeah, yeah. No, I think leading up to it, well, we were at Rogue. And then mm-hmm. yep. I think by the time we got back, I had about four or you so weeks. Four yeah, weeks. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was just trying to just, d- like, go all in and, di- like, dive into uh, training for those four weeks. And then I think the workouts came out maybe... A week before? A week? Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, what was roughly, it the week off? Maybe, no, nah, maybe no, it was, like, a week or two, week of, I would say. Anyway. Sure. Um. But yeah, uh, like I still thought it was cool having like Nick and Taylor back there, and um, yeah, like I I didn't know what to expect. I just wanted to just uh, like be happy with how I uh, performed and like my mindset at the competition, regardless of the yeah. result for that. Because mm-hmm. that I think it was something where I've been around a lot of athletes in general in an off season comp like that. The way you were feeling, that would have just called it a day. Honestly, yeah, there's nothing like to, yeah. after day one, there was really no reason that you needed to keep doing what you were doing. There's no, I mean, maybe some prize money's on the line, mm-hmm. but your health was at risk. But we, I think, just like Shane said, wanted to see what you were made of at that point. But, but that was before we, we spoke about that before we found out you're sick. Like, <laughs> excellent. Let's even just get further away. It was more like, I let's see what she does. <laughs> yeah, I guess see if she's like, got actually, that going We're either going to cut her or keep her up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She pulls out, Adversity, she's done. Yeah. By that time, like, I, I wanted to do it. Like, I wanted to compete because, yeah, like, prior to that, it was Torian. So, yeah, yep. yeah I wanted to do something else. Like, we'd been to the games, we'd been to Rogue, and I was like, well, I want to have you a You were getting an itch, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I knew when I saw you that one night with a bag of potatoes in your hand, you are like, she's in. <laughs> she's just carrying <laughs> yeah. around dry yeah. potatoes yeah. to eat for yeah, the day. I was trying to figure out what I could eat. Did your mum give you that? Yeah, mum went and got yeah. me Just like an potatoes. apple, just taking bites off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's, what's going to go down well? Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I think uh, one thing, too, with Maddie, Maddie's put on some size. That's one thing we've noticed. Oh, yeah. Since. That's been a full time. And, and you can't see it, but she's hiding those pins, but she's, uh, <laughs> her quads and well, carbs that's what I said, are a lot la- bigger. That's the last place I needed it. I needed oh, it up here. Yeah. <laughs> I think functionality, that's where it should go. <laughs> I don't know. We'll do more bicep work. We'll get yeah, you there yeah. on that. And Jay did his first bicep session. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you I still ever. sore? I was sore for a Jay while. Cutler I think I over only here. just come yeah, good. Jay <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, who's that? Yeah, yeah. He's I was like, who's next that? week yeah. with his uh, bra, like yeah. his bicep bra where he gets yeah. the elbows oh, tucked man. in. That is awesome. Nah, that felt good though. <laughs> It You're was. already looking huge. <laughs> we did a few curls before the podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> only on that Extra rider. Yeah, yeah. And some things like that. <laughs> so we've got. Where are we at now? Quarterfinals in three and a half, three weeks. Let's call it three yeah. weekends from now. You guys excited for that? Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be sick. Yeah. Did you get really excited for the open, or was it more so just like another thing in the way of getting us to the real season? Um, I was excited just because it's like, a, and especially when we're like at home. Um, just getting around the community, I suppose. Yeah. Like we went to a local affiliate that uh, we knew a lot of people there, um, and it's always fun. Like What's get, the name of the affiliate? Uh, Wolf Den CrossFit. That's Wolf right. Den. So Wolf shout That's out awesome. to them. That's um, it's dangerous, eh? We don't have so, cool names like that over here. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. Just like I think I was just re- yeah ready for the season to start too. Like it's always fun just to to keep it going. So that's that's the excitement, I suppose, for quarterfinals and like being here too mm-hmm. is exciting. Um, yeah, just getting next step underway. Mm-hmm. And uh, before we know it, we'll be at the games. Do you like these type of online qualifier workouts? I know the online qualifier and the tapes and all that gets annoying, but do you like these kind of workouts where they're more crossfit maybe a little bit shorter, not as much game-style stuff? Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, She's shaking her head. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I feel like the quarters is where it's like probably a bit more, you could call it fun. Because you more, get more, more skills, skills and heavier. Heavier and things. Like, yeah. yeah. Whereas and I think the uh, uh, opens like more fitnessy i guess yeah more, just simple and i think like we've been doing it for so long now like crossfit just, the stand, just cro- yeah, yeah we've been doing exactly. crossfit for yeah. so long so the crossfit workouts are you good, got a good dose fun. of games training last year though that yeah. was a little bit different <laughs> yeah, huh? like the yeah. track workouts in the oh, field yeah. and the farmers yeah. carries we're going to, we're going to <laughs> war yeah, that's yeah. for sure oh, are you excited about that this year games training yeah 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I want to be participating in the game. You will. You, you will. Because <laughs> you guys are going to come back, right? Yeah. That's the plan. So go yeah. over there for Torian. We'll have to bring is, Sarge. He <laughs> can stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because we'll be going home for like a month or so through Torian and then... Yeah, pretty much. Get that ticket back on yeah. Monday. Get it back. Hopefully, you get through the border. Yeah, I know. No, you should be. Yeah. Should be fine. You guys, book, <laughs> don't jinx them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta get you guys. So let me ask you the hot question right now for everybody: Would you guys move here? Is that ever in the cards for you guys? Yeah, uh, I feel like before this trip, we've all we've said like no. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. We've like, talk- it's. We're do you feel about like it, it's different now that we have the gym? Like, this is something where you're like, wow, okay, now this is more of a facility. Like, we see ourselves as professional athletes here. Does that help? Yes. Yeah, definitely. And just, like, yeah, just being around, like, you guys, like, day to day is is massive, I think. Yeah. Um, I just feel like being, yeah, with a, with a crew of, like, everyone having the same goals and stuff, it just makes, makes training a lot easier, mm. you know, day, day by day. Yeah. Um, it's a good crew here now. Like yeah, this is 100%. fun. Like not that it hasn't been in the past, yeah. but like now that we have a break room where you guys get to like have lunch together, I think we've yeah. come a lot closer as a group already in the first couple months, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I don't know. It still might be. It's still it's, it'd still be a little bit away and a lot of conversations <laughs> yeah. and all that sort of stuff. But um, maybe one day. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we'll keep working on that. <laughs> we ready for this? I'm just keeping my phone ready until you give me the green light. I think we're good. we got rapid fire. Yeah, oh. rapid fire. Is rapid fire. I'm yeah, scared. Yeah. So guys, <coughs> so, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> rapid fire. So what we'll do? Uh, I'm going to bounce. I'll go Maddie then Jay, um, and they're just a series of questions. This helps the the listeners and everyone watching uh, better understand who you are and who you barrack for. Don't mess it up. Okay. Man. So and they're going to be very. So they'll go from uh, like, all we need is one word answer. You got five seconds. We've got a timer over there. Any longer than that, and you get electrocuted underneath your seat. Is actually uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, that's uh, that's a cattle. Is. Anyway, um, and then they turn into either either like uh, yeah, two options. Okay, here we go. Maddie, favorite music genre to train to right now? Three, two, uh, uh, one. anything mixed. No. mixed. Mm, okay. Pause. Sorry. Pause. Okay. <laughs> Let's start over here. It has mixed. to be an answer. Nothing There's no, no. You're. No. <laughs> We just we need one word answer. Yep, <laughs> have to answer. Go. Big booty remixes. Boom, boom. <laughs> she took big, your answer, didn't big she? Big booty. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah. Did, did, did he say you yeah? Did he agree? <gasps> no, you right. guys are not. This is not this rapid is a very fire. Good game clearly. Yeah. Just, I've got to switch it up then. Yes, you do. I'll say country. Boom. Country. Okay. Wow. That was pretty quick, only a minute. <laughs> okay, that leaves no more questions. Thanks for joining minutes, us. Yeah. 30 minutes left. <laughs> you, know, you know what I thought your countdown was? I thought it was like three, two, one. Same. Same. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. They're still waiting for the your answer. Just to clarify, it's rapid fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's okay. do it up. Right, here I'm we go. These. Okay, maybe we'll start with Jay then. Yeah. Would that be better? That'd be better. Since she's going to steal my yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, they get the same soft drink and a lot of the same meals. Same pizza and soft drink. Let's just put that out Chicken there. burrito every single day. I don't need that. No, she doesn't have <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, chicken. Anyway, enough about soft drink. We should probably say that. Uh, it's all health. Uh, <laughs> favorite sport team? Penrith Panthers. <laughs> oh, best. There you go. I don't know. Uh, Melbourne Storm. Melbourne Storm. So there. Rugby. So wait. League. Rugby league. Yep. Rugby league. Enemies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, favorite post-game meal? Post game, like, yeah. like as the games. in training, yeah. oh. uh, or, or yeah, whatever it may be, Post competition. Games. I anything all the time though. That's like, not you know, okay. Uh, I guess you want world peace too. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I love everyone. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll get go burgers, down. pizza, but I eat that but during too. Oh. So. Yeah, you, had, you, had, you had that pizza last yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you an early bird or night owl? I'd say early bird. Yeah, early bird. Yep. Snatch or clean and jerk. Clean and jerk. Snatch. Nice. Amraps or Emoms? Oh. Emom. For E-mom? sure, right. That's that's, that's a given. Bad if you answer Amrap. Uh, I don't know. We've done some gnarly Emoms, but <laughs> we do, do some <laughs> there's some Emoms, emoms that I'm like, mm, I'm Amrap. Uh, okay, box jumps or burpees? Three, two, box one. jump. One. Oh, yep. Bur- burpees. Okay, wow. Yeah, you would say that. <laughs> Handstand push ups or muscle ups? Muscle-ups. Handstand push-ups. Of course, you, you asked me yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. <probably not>. <laughs> 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 muscle-ups. Yeah, every yeah, muscle-ups. Yeah. Uh, CrossFit Games or the Olympics? 
CrossFit Games. Yeah, it's CrossFit Games, but Olympics is pretty cool. Olympics if you could is ever be in that position. What event would you do? Oh, I'd love to be a 100 meter sprinter. Yeah, of course. That, that's true. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. What? What? Hang oh, on. That's cool. You get your chain. We'll get you. Yeah, you blinked yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. They, I didn't expect you all, to say all that. All the girls they're like cool run with their lads. hair yeah. out and they're like chains on. That's true. All right, here we go. Diane or Amanda? Diane. Yeah. I forgot what Rapid Amanda fire. is. Rapid fire. Snap Diane. Three. Okay. Oh, well, I know this one. It's, it's, it, are you a dog person or a cat person? Dog. Dog. Yeah. You, you too. Obviously. Uh, beach or mountain getaway? Oh, I didn't realize this would stump you guys. Probably mountain. <laughs> oh, really? yeah? yeah? I guess you guys have the beach. Mountain though. getaway. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I was like, damn. But yeah, maybe. Maybe if you stay here for a year, you'd say the. Well, yeah. Sorry, what would you say? Uh, Three? I'd probably say mountain. Okay, so if you're going to read a book, fiction or non fiction? Book? <laughs> what, reading? <laughs> what do you mean? You made your, your whole, <laughs> book, your whole book? country look bad yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know oh, they had words in books. I, lo- I love just reading like stories. Like, I love the Harry yeah. Potter series, but I'm trying to read books that are going to make me better. Good. Good answer. There's a, a test. A plus. Correct answer. Jay is gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Netflix binge or movie night out? Movie, like cinema? Movie night out. Netflix. Okay, well, that's Ooh. awkward. Ooh. <laughs> Sweet or savory? Like, I, don't, I don't like leaving me couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew my intention was going to be. <laughs> Netflix. Oh, no, I did that one. Sorry. Sweet or savory? Three. Sweet. Savory. Nice. What? Yeah, this is good. I love this. This is what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> like, if T and I did this, I'd Nutella be blown bagels. up. bagels? <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. And he looks every forward night. To every night. Oh, and he loads it. Like, too much your Nutella. Bagel? Like, I wouldn't even oh, eat that. Oh, Nutella bagel. Yeah. That's puts what you Nute- eat? Nutella on a bagel. Bre- that's your breakfast? No, not, it's not never okay. breakfast. Right. It's not Nutella. What is it? It's How do you say it? Nutella. Nutella. Not Nutella. On Nutella? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm torn because I understand it, <laughs> and I can imagine how you feel about it. Nutella. <laughs> Nutella. It's like a Caroline way yeah. to say it. Oh, this is <laughs> uh, pizza or sushi for dinner? For dinner. Pizza. Yeah, pizza. Yeah. I do like me some sushi, but. What would you rather, morning run or an afternoon run? Oh. Afternoon. Morning. Well, we do have an afternoon run today, so well done, Jay. Yeah. It might uh, be a nighttime run though. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, we're 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 right. <laughs> okay. Which movie uh, would you would you watch? Uh, an action-packed movie, comedy, or reality drama? Comedy. Hard, hard split between comedy and action packed. Yeah, I like okay. that. Well, that actually summarizes up. So we should paint a good, that should paint a good picture about these yeah. two. Real that was quick, too, wasn't it? Favorite restaurant in Nashville. Oh yeah. Or been ha- well, you haven't been to many. No, no we probably haven't. Dirty Bird. Where's the place that you guys <laughs> go every single day? Uh, shout out two oh, hands. Oh, being on two hands. Two hands. Yeah, shout out two hands. Today's yeah. episode is brought to you by two, two hands. hands. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen this, just don't yeah. park across the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> do, you you, do you want to give him a shout out? No. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Shoot out. I mean, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you should have put coffee or something else. Coffee? Yeah. I know, but like a coffee like or tea. But you know it's going to be coffee. It's going to be coffee. Always. But we're giving two hands shout outs right now. We're trying to get sponsors. But how do you like your coffee? Small. Long Small black. Americano, <laughs> long, black. long black. Like this. Long Nick, black. you know this. Mine long black. Have to be Is this a big or a small? That's a medium. That's a large at home. That's a medium. That's a large. Isn't it? A yeah, large. Okay. At home. Probably a big place. A at, some, at most places, that's large. Have you, have you been plugging hearts? That's another <laughs> That's, that's your position. Yeah. Oh, well, they're actually Australian. Yeah, we're Australian. Actually, we can uh, like both. Game. Fair we game. We can like both. Anyway, Nick. They do. Sponsor. But you're going to have to sign us out because we just did plug. Yeah, we've got. Please. Please see us, hearts and two hands. We're here Whoever down the road. Uh, if you guys don't know, Maddie and Jay, Instagram, follow them. You can follow us, but we're not entertaining. Um, and if you've got any ideas for future episodes, these guys will be here a while. So, yeah. like, maybe after quarterfinals, we'll do another one. Yep. Yep. Drop them below in the comments. We want topic ideas. Yeah, we want to know what you guys want to see on the podcast. Yep. So, please let us know that. And if you got any questions at all, let us know. We'll see you next time. Do we do that? <laughs> That's light, what isn't is it? That? <laughs> Break. <laughs>